Well, how's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ App, and today I'm going to show off to you kind of the things I've been doing in Russian Fishing 4. I know some of you have been asking for another update, you know, we kind of were at Mosquito Lake last time we were doing this. I think it showed off a, uh, a rough spot that I was catching a lot of rough at, but the thing about Russian Fishing 4 is that the different spots that the fish are biting change, you know? It's not Fishing Planet where the same spot works every single time you go there. It's the same thing every single day. You know, in Russian Fishing 4, it changes. You gotta move around the lake to find something that works for you and you might it might just be 40 yards down the side or it might be on the other side of the lake But it is kind of fun to be able to walk around and try that or if bottom fishing isn't working try flow fishing that sort of thing But with that out of the way, let me get back into uh, some replays and stuff that I've been doing in uh, Russian fishing for so I can show you and hopefully it helps you in kind of knowing like progression of the game what you should be doing and uh, and how I've been approaching it so far but before we do that, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, pack your tackle boxes in. Let's get into it, everyone. Okay, so where we left off, we were fishing at Mosquito Lake, and it really hasn't changed much from that point. We were doing the exact same thing as you can see right here, fishing Mosquito Lake. I got bottom rods out, I got a float rod out as well, just trying to catch as many fish as we can at this moment. I mean, I'm not that far into the game. Level 15, I've been fishing Winding River Lake and Mosquito Lake this whole time, catching fish and selling them to the cafe to make a little bit more money. Now you can see here, I'm, I'm in a different location now. Got our float rod out and we're catching what was a gibble carp? Yeah, there we go. Almost a KG little gibble carp. Very nice. And back to the bottom rods now, reeling in some more fish. And this is just pretty typical for uh, a Mosquito Lake. Switching back and forth between the worms, which you can dig up out of the ground. And then, of course, using some wet bread maybe to get some of these carp. Nice little half KG crucian right there. As the other rod is going off, you know, it's constant. Sometimes you get into a spot where it's just constant action, and that's kind of something I've been seeing. I mean, I know this game is realistic, but honestly, if you're sitting there and you're not getting a bite for a few minutes, you might as well change spots or change your techniques. Uh, but bottom rods, float rods, very consistent in Mosquito Lake. Another good size cruise in there, one and a half kgs. Now we're into the live stream. See. He's still taking line out. We're still not able to uh, get our rod tip up. We're gonna slowly make our way over to him. Slowly getting line in. Oh, moving too quick. Well, this has gotta be a few kgs anyway. He's not fighting like that six kg carp that I had, but uh, but he's, he's pretty heavy. He's still taking out some line every now and then, but not a whole lot. Curious to see what he is though. Dude, is this another? Dude, this, is this a gibble carp? I think this is a monster gibble carp. Dude, did we just catch a trophy gibble carp? Dude, look at the size of this gibble carp. Is that, is it a crucian? No, it's a gibble. I don't know if it's a trophy, but he's a big one. Get in the net. Oh, he's just a big gibble carp. Nice, man. Well, top notch. W almost one and a half kg gibble. Sweet. Man, I really thought we had some massive, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. Trophy's 1.9 or 1 point, so we we were close. We were we were close. And then I just wanted to show you a little bit of, you know, filling these cafe orders, catching a lot of crucians, a lot of gibbles here, and you can see how I'm going in. I'm looking at what's available. I can I can actually change it to uh, order these fish by weight. This isn't a good example because I needed six fish and these are all six fish. But as you can see in this next one, with the gibble carp here, we need three gibble carp, but I have five there, so I can sort by weight. All of these carp are eligible, so I'm gonna take the lightest ones because I can sell the bigger ones at the uh, fish stall or whatever to make a little bit more money. Same goes with the crucians here, selling the lightest ones that fit for that cafe order, and then selling the larger fish uh, on the side for some extra money. Now I was pretty excited about this. This was uh, this came out of nowhere. I was fishing crucians and gibble carp, and all of a sudden. I think I actually left and I this is hilarious how this works because I feel like this happens consistently with me I go somewhere you know, to go fill up a drink or something and I come back and I have a rod that's way out somewhere and it's just taken out line and I was following this guy around the lake you can see I started off at that dock where we were fishing those gibbles and crucians and walked on the opposite side by the tent in the car 
and uh, and I'm pulling in this car and he actually gets stuck on this log and I'm pulling here trying to pull him off the log but he's so heavy that every time I try to pull the line back it's letting the line out because the drag of the reel just can't keep up with the weight but look at this dude absolutely massive I'm just trying to pull him into the net right now get him in go look at that 6.747 kg mirror carp absolutely insane at 3000 xp plus they have the happy hour bonus from the premium which you don't need but it's pretty sweet going back to the live stream now going 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 boy right when i think we're getting a little bit of a little bit of rope pulls us right back in it says you ain't no cowboy you ain't getting no rope we're about at the three quarter mark though he about pulled out enough line to get us at that halfway mark, but uh, we're, we're getting back. Getting back. Do you think it's just a big bream? Probably so. Out of the red. Red means quicker damage to your equipment. Repairs cost silver. Oh, okay. Just seem like um, we catch them faster if it's in the red. Yeah, it's just a good sized bream. Get it in the net. Get it in the net. Yeah, boy. And level 16, man. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. Right on, everybody. Well, glad you were able to uh, see us hit level 16 there. We got Quarry Lake now, and we got this 2.268 kg bream, which is awesome. Gonna keep that mad lad. I love it. Look at this dude. Get in here, you. Yeah. I just want to pause it right here just for a moment so I can show you the progression. We were fishing at Mosquito Lake, and then when we were in the live stream showing off some fishing at Mosquito Lake, uh, some people were talking about going to Old Berg Lake to fish for bream, because the bream are pretty good at Old Berg Lake. So that's what we did. We traveled to Old Berg Lake. Um, we tried some garlic dough. It didn't really work, but we had also been told that uh, they, were, they were catching more at night and on pearl barley. Now, if you don't know about pearl barley, basically you have to go to the grocery store um, at Old Berg in the little, uh, what is it, a fort or something like that, and you have to buy a uh per barley i guess just barley and then it's actually a crafting recipe to create pearl barley which you then use for fishing so that's what we were doing at night time with the pearl barley out um 18 uh what is it meters 18 meters we we could change the clip um for how far we're throwing out to 18 meters and that seemed to be where they were fishing though i had the other one out at like 24 or something like that and we were also catching them so i'm not sure it really matters there but you can see the coordinates down in the bottom corner as we're catching these bream um and it was it was great fun now as the stream came to an end and we were uh you know sold a bunch of bream i wanted to do something a little different and we had actually been given a tip by some of the people watching about different uh techniques to try here we went back to balea river which i had done once before and just didn't do well but i was catching these guys let's see here you catch a few graylings if you're using just some regular line um pretty fun the little graylings they come out of nowhere sometimes you'll pretty much be reeling it in all the way and then they'll come at you within like the you know the 10 yards away from the uh the shore it's pretty interesting here on the river the grayling can be kind of fun in that way how they just kind of come out of nowhere and you also pull out some of these like chunky little chubs here um 3kg chub not too bad you know but the greatest tip that we were given was basically taking um, your your lures, these lures that we've been using, and putting on a better hook. Now, I was only able to afford one of these magnetic treble hooks um, in a size 6 medium. Um, but basically, what we were doing is, because the hook was so expensive, I was taking the hook off of one lure and throwing it on another lure, depending upon the time of day. Now, if it was nighttime, I was throwing around the black bell. Uh, spinner which seems strange that you'd use a black lure at night but it was working let me tell you um, and we'd have that treble hook on the back and it was working like a dream now during the morning um, and during the afternoon I was throwing a different lure um, I was throwing this Karuna Aquila between 4 a.m. and like 10 a.m. Um, and then once 10 a.m. came around I was actually switching 
to this Siberia Dragonfly Bell 2002, the silver one. Um, and I think it, it is strange how different times of the day, um, different colors of lures will work well. It's it's more like real life, really. It's just harder for me to picture in a game. But as you do that, and I will say, additionally, you follow along with creating uh, a rod setup that uses very clear line, the fluorocarbon. You can see here, this isn't strong, super strong stuff, but these aren't super strong, you know, heavy fish that we're catching either. We got eight pound um, braided line hybrid, Siberia hybrid right there, 110 meters in black. You might get more of that. I mean, we only filled up, what, like a quarter to a half of our reel with that 110 meters. So if you can get more than that, that'd be great. But otherwise, most important part for catching these uh, fish species at Balea was this fluorocarbon leader at seven pounds. Um, and I tell you, you do that and you'll find yourself throwing out a cast like this here and you can see what we caught here. This magnificent brown trout, 1,954 XP. That's crazy, it's amazing. 4,000 total XP points, and we are leveling up like crazy at Balea. Doing this setup, switching between those three lures, depending upon the time of day, with this rod setup. And it's a good, it's a good little fight with that light tackle and whatnot. But those brown trout, ridiculous XP, guys. Um, I, at this, it might be too early to tell, but it feels like at this point that Balea and these brown trout is almost similar to like the the walleye at emerald lake and in, in fishing planet it's a little shaky but then you get to that point where you're catching these brown trout and it's amazing you're progressing through the game and it's awesome catching some pike too which is pretty sweet but those brown trout game changer everyone so anyway i hope this was helpful to you as you make your way through russian fishing for if you're asking yourself is this on console it is not it's only on pc for those of you who have a pc and like I had said before, I have heard whispers that they're trying to work on a console release, but who's to say, you know? Um, but for those of you who can play the game, I hope this is helping you and progressing through. I'm learning as I'm going. Maybe this isn't the best way to do it, and, I, and if I learn more information, I'll be sure to let all of you know. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to follow along for more tips in the future for Russian Fishing 4, make sure you subscribe, everybody. And if you want to join us at our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure you do so. We'd love to see you there. But until the next video, take care, and as always, remember, everyone, we're one planet, one family, game on.